Stuff Not Fluff. More DIY solar that you can build. Uh, last time we had a current sense relay that uh, operated from a shunt resistor. That shunt resistor has to be in the uh, negative side and sometimes that's inconvenient. So what we have here is a ACS7112, this little module down here. And what this does is it's uh, electrically isolated. Uh, you run it off 5 volts and it produces uh, an output of half that voltage and you have a swing up to uh, from 2.5 to 3.5 with 5 amps. Uh, I like using these smaller units. Uh, some of the solder connections on them are kind of iffy. I had one that didn't even work when I got it and it was due to a bad solder connection. If you want to trust 30 amps going through their connections, go ahead. But we have this set up with a resistor right now to uh, simulate a load and what we do is press that and you'll see the light comes on. Uh, this is a, a third of an amp going through and if you look over here you'll see it's a 2.47 with a third of an amp it goes up uh, 40 millivolts here's our adjustment pot and uh, this is the circuit you got the ACS7112 it needs to be supplied with 5 volts and you can do that with an LM431 uh, using two 4.7K resistors to uh, double the 2.5 volts or you could put a 5.1 volt zener in there uh, or probably even best is a, a 7805 regulator that will draw the least amount of current because in any kind of shunt regulator you always have to be dumping at least 15 to 20 milliamps extra so the output of this is normally sitting about half with uh, no current going through it that's at uh, 2.5 volts and it can go up to 3.5 volts uh, so we do a, a voltage divider here and this gives us the full span of voltages to 2.2 K and a 47 K resistor got a 20 K pot uh, pots vary a little bit in uh, tolerance so uh, having a fixed resistor makes the pot resistance insignificant uh, a little bit of filter capacitor to uh, take out noise spikes in here the Elm 431 which switches at 2.5 volts uh, the relay uh, you want to use something like about 500 ohms with a with a diode across it and uh, the LED indicator uh, you know just a 2.2 K resistor there to just give it enough current to light up uh, if you want you could uh, use an opto isolator if you're feeding into something else so these things are not really precision uh, a third of an amp is about as low as you'd want to go with this and uh, the zero tends to drift around a little bit you know these are not precision at all but they're awfully handy because they are isolated and as you can see you know 5 volts and uh, one 431 to uh, do the switching and you got a current sense relay. Thanks for watching.